hidden secret behind Oprah chat exposed. Boy George Hammer Meg in shocking snub showing support to RF. Boy George, 60, appears on Sunday brunch on Channel 4 this morning to talk about his gig at Kenwood House next month. The Culture Club frontman, known for hits like Karma Chameleon, will team up with his bandmates for the special concert on Hampstead Heath in London. Also performing are fellow 80s hitmakers, Bananarama, Lulu, and legendary guest DJ, Fat Tony. On Sunday brunch this morning, regular hosts Simon Rimmer and Tim Lovejoy also welcome Sarah Cox to the studio to chat about her new novel. Keel Smith Bino also discusses his new sketch show, Red Flag, while Leah Brotherhead talks about new comedy hull raisers and there is music from Bell and Sebastian. As well as his music, George has become known for his outspoken views on politics and other subjects in recent years. One such occasion came in March last year as he let rip at the interview Meghan Markle and Prince Harry did with Oprah Winfrey for CBS and ITV. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex sat down with the US chat show host to open up about their decision to step back from their royal roles, but George claimed that Oprah could have pushed them further in their answers. One of Meghan's claims to Oprah was that a member of the royal family had spoken with Harry about what color the skin of their son Archie would be when he was born. Meghan, who is mixed race, claimed there were concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. George reacted to Oprah's tweet publicizing the interview before it was released in full, writing to his 482,000 followers that she should have questioned Meghan's allegation further. He said, sadly, Meghan wasn't prepared to tell us who made these alleged comments about Archie's skin color. I believe she has a responsibility to tell us. Shame on Oprah for not pushing it more. It's a huge accusation. George also said Oprah could have asked more questions about Meghan's family. He wrote, Not a single question about Meghan's family? Is there a part two or is there only financial mileage in dissing our royal family? George also claimed he did not have anything against Meghan or the royal family. Recently, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle did not want to be a part of Queen's Balcony tradition, says close friend. Royal author and Meghan Markle aide Omid Scobie denies that the couple was snubbed from trooping the color event, insisting that they themselves opted out of the momentous occasion. Writing for Yahoo News, Scobie said Harry had spoken with his grandmother about the possibility of not attending Trooping the Color long before last week's announcements. The Sussexes thought it inappropriate to appear at the balcony moment as they were no longer working royals, he added. Meghan and Harry quit as senior royals in 2020 and moved to the US with son Archie. After a year, the couple welcomed younger offspring, daughter Lilibet, together. The Sussexes have been controversial royals ever since their decision to step down from their duties. The couple sat in with Oprah Winfrey in a bombshell interview, where Meghan accused Queen Aids of being racist.